blind spot on city buses revealed and it may have been the factor in this frightening accident caught on camera. It's a problem some now believe had deadly consequences in other cities. That could be because of a well-known blind spot created by the side view mirrors and what's called the A-pillar, a thick metal bar which supports the windshield. These are traumatic uh, events for bus drivers when they happen. It is a terrible, terrible thing when a bus strikes a pedestrian. Uh, and it's rare that there is not a serious injury when that happens. And the drivers who do it second guess themselves for the rest of their lives. So it's uh, four lanes, uh, traffic going this way and this way. So it was four lanes that were on this side. I needed to make a left hand turn. So as I got to the crosswalk, there was someone I didn't see because uh, I didn't see behind that mirror. Must have been at the same perfect time we were traveling at the same time. I've never seen them as I looked around, looked at the crosswalk at both corners, and as I made the left hand turn, I was only going about 14 miles an hour and came out from behind the mirror and the post of the windshield. I couldn't do it. I was in shock, basically. Um, yeah, that was the tough part, you know, it's flooring to me for, because uh, like I said, I tried really hard to make sure all my blind spots, I checked both corners of the crosswalk to make sure it looked like nothing was there, and it looked twice that time. I had never seen them. Not only you have the width of the column, but on this type of mirror, you have the width of the mirror and the column together, which can block out entire cars and trucks. The gentleman that I didn't see because he was behind the column probably thought I had stopped for him. So he started to walk and then I started to turn. At the simultaneously, we just made the same move and suddenly his head was like right behind my mirror. I saw gray hair and bump and I mean, I stopped immediately, but he fell on the sidewalk next to the bus. Oh, you just keep playing that over and over. Why didn't I see him? Why didn't I see his feet under the mirror? Or him or moving? I was moving, but the bus was moving and he was moving. And just those three things combined were just like planets and stars lined up. And I couldn't see him till the very end. Talking to operators who had had these cases and then going back and uh, analyzing why. They were our slowest, most cautious drivers and they were having these horrific accidents out in the middle of intersections where it was difficult to understand how is such a great driver with decades of, of uh, flawless performance, how are they the ones having these accidents? It was a busy intersection, so I busily scanned right and left. As I started the turn, I saw no danger at all until I felt a bump or something hitting my left-hand mirror, I saw a flash of yellow and a thump. Her thigh was pressed against her chest and the bus was sitting on her shin. As this pedestrian walks up to the intersection, they're being tracked by that blind spot. And then as they cross, they're again tracked by the blind spot. And so the driver saw every inch of real estate there with no one visible. And you can move the blind spot around by bobbing and weaving in the seat. You don't eliminate it. It takes $300 a bus to eliminate that blind spot. You have to move the mirror. You have to think about uh, what that takes. You have to take the surplus fiberglass, it's not structural, and whittle it away, uh, route it out and you get down to just this. That's the metal frame. She was holding her boyfriend's hand at the time she got hit. And uh, they extricated him out from under the bus initially. And I uh, got him in an ambulance over to the hospital. He survived the crash. The, the sad part is these manufacturers know this and have known this for many years. My anger for the whole, this whole thing has been that they've treated my daughter as a financial budget line item. We all have a common interest in making the road safer. Uh, none of our drivers want to get into these accidents. We want to get 
the pedestrians on our side to get the agencies to fix the problem. This is absolutely uh, inexplicable that the agencies would not immediately seize on this, thank us and say, we're going to fix this. Uh, so we can't figure it out. We can't figure out what is motivating them to continue to buy buses that are going to kill people for the next 20 years.